Hello, my name is Joy Lambert and I am the Child and Adolescent Studies Librarian at Pollock Library. This video will be an introduction to the database called APA Psych Info. This database is psychology and behavioral science focused and as a cast major should be one of your first stops when searching for scholarly and empirical articles. To get to the database, first go to the library's homepage, library.fullerton.edu. From the library's homepage, click on the databases icon. From there, you can use the alphabetical list or use the drop-down menu that reads all subjects to select child and adolescent studies. Here's the database list for CAS. At the top, you'll notice the best bets box. APA Psych Info and ERIC should be your go-to databases for starting research for CAS projects. You may also notice there is a database called APA Psych Articles. This is a helpful research database, but is smaller than APA Psych Info and contains less content. I'd recommend you start with APA Psych Info and use APA Psych Articles after that. Click on the title of the database to enter. If you are off campus, you will be asked to log in through the proxy. Just use your campus portal login info and you should be taken through to the database. Once in the database, you can start searching. If you want, you can start with a general keyword search. If I was doing a research paper on the effects of screen time on children, I can pick keywords to use in my search. I like to keep each concept in its own box. That way, if I have to modify my search, it helps keep things organized. So in the first box, I can put the keyword or search term screen time. And in the second, I can put children. However, before I start my search, I'd like to take advantage of some of the search options or limiting tools APA Psych Info has to offer. These are available to you before or after your search, so you don't have to use them before your search if you don't want to. If you scroll down, you will see a box you can check for peer-reviewed articles. Very often, your professors will ask you to use peer-reviewed articles for your assignments. These are articles that are reviewed by experts in a particular field before they are published. Most library databases have a box you can check for peer-reviewed articles, so I will check that box. If you scroll down further, you'll see other limiters that can be helpful. APA Psych Info has an age groups limiter. If you are researching a topic as it relates to a certain age group, you can select one or more age groups listed. I'm going to focus my research on preschool aged children, so I'm going to select that option. Another important limiter is the methodology limiter. As a CAS major, you will have assignments where your professor asks you to use empirical articles. Empirical articles are articles that detail an original research study that was done. While most library databases include empirical articles, APA Psych Info and APA Psych Articles are the only ones that have a methodology limiter. Using this will be your most efficient way to find those empirical articles. You'll also see a box you can check to exclude dissertations. I would recommend you do this for your research. Dissertations are written by people who are earning their PhDs. They are not peer-reviewed, they usually summarize the work of other researchers, and tend to be quite long. For the purposes of the research you will be doing as an undergrad student, I think it would be best to exclude them. Since I have made all of my limit selections, I am going to go ahead and run my search and see what articles the database can find for me. Now I've done my search and I can start to look through the results. You'll notice in the upper left hand margin, the database shows me how I have built this results list. You'll also notice as I scroll down in the left margin, there are a lot of options to further narrow the results. My search has given me a pretty manageable list, but sometimes databases will give you a ton of results. So take advantage of those limiters if you need to. Two I'd like to point out are the publication date limiter and the subject major heading limiter. Sometimes your professors may require you to find articles written within a certain time period, like the last five or 10 years, so you're looking at the most recent research. The publication date limiter can help you with that. You can use the slider or type in the years of the range that you want. So I'll look at articles written between 2010 and 2020. If you type in the date and then hit enter, it will narrow your results to articles published within those years. 
the subject major heading limiter can help by selecting those articles that have certain subject headings assigned to them. Click on subject major heading and then show more to see a list of those subject headings. Each article in the database has subject headings assigned to it to help describe what it's about. When you do a keyword search, the search is a little more general. Using subject terms with the subject major heading limiter will make the results more focused. The articles will actually be about those subjects rather than just have a keyword in the title or description of the article. And you can select as many of these as you would like. So I'm going to select screen time and childhood development and then when I've made my selections, I'll click Update. One bug in APA Psych Info is that sometimes, as you make further modifications to your results list using these limiters, it might take some off. So keep an eye on that box in the upper left margin to make sure any important limits you put on, like peer-reviewed or a range of date of publication or methodology, are still there. If not, you can always put them back on. Along those same lines, if I did a search and didn't get a lot of results, I could broaden my results by taking off some of those limiters. And you can do that by clicking on the X next to any of them. As I start to look through the results list, I can tell what articles are available full text in APA Psych Info. Any that have HTML full text or PDF full text can be accessed by clicking on the link. However, I'd really encourage you to look at all of the articles in your list and not just the ones that have full text in the database you are searching because the full text might be in another library database. I'll talk more about that in a moment. Looking through the list, if I click on the title of any of the articles, I'll be taken to what is called the record for the article. The record contains all of the descriptive information about the article, including what is needed to build a citation, as well as the abstract, which is just a brief summary of the article. Since I told the database to find empirical articles, the record also has information about the study in this article, including information about the participants, as well as tests and measures. Those are the surveys, inventories, tests, etc. that were used in the course of conducting the study. If I read the abstract and decide I want to read the full text of the article for my research, then I'm going to look for how I can access the full text. If the full text is available in APA Psych Info, there will be a link to either the HTML or PDF version. In the record, the links for full text will be in the left margin. If the full text is not available in this database, look for the Find It at Pollock Library button. This button can be found in all of the library databases. Clicking on Find It at Pollock Library will prompt APA Psych Info to check with the other library databases. If the full text is in any of those, there will be a link to it. And when you click on that link, it should take you to the full text of the article in the other database. If it's not available in any library databases, there will be an option to request it from another library. Just click on the Sign In for More Options button, log in with your portal login, and follow the prompts to make your request. For articles that are available in the database I'm searching, in this case, APA Psych Info, clicking on the link will open the full text. If the PDF version is available, that is the version you will want because it looks like it was when it was published in the journal. From here, you can email yourself the full text of the article by clicking on the envelope icon in the right margin, putting in your email address, and clicking Send. You can also download the PDF to your computer. APA Psych Info also has a citation tool, and it's in the right margin. It looks like a little yellow sheet of paper. Clicking on that will give you examples of how to cite this article in multiple citation styles, including APA. These examples, however, are rarely 100% correct. So use this as your starting point, and then double check with your APA manual or other APA citation resource to make any necessary corrections. Another nice thing about APA Psych Info is the search history. When you click on that, it shows you in reverse chronological order the searches you have done and the number of results you got. If you click on View Results, it will take you back to the results list of that search. If you're doing a lot of different searches or searching multiple databases, the search history tool can be quite helpful. You can even print your search history. 
And there you have an overview of APA Psych Info, a great database for you to become familiar with as a CAS major. Happy researching!